of recent floodings have become worse because River Semuliki Bank is degraded because of increasing population resulting into too much human pressure. This area of Toroko, the six lower land sub-counties, Bueramule, Booktown Council, Webisengo, Butungama, Kanara sub county are lying in the Albertine Rift Valley. They are prone to flooding. That home you are seeing behind me in the background, people go to this place, they are in the open. History has it that all the years we have been facing flash floods brought in by the drainage valley of uh, River Semuliki. But uh, as of 2019, the situation worsened with the rising waters on Lake Alban. Because of that situation, the district has had over 10 camps of internally displaced persons just because of the flooding. UNICEF has been supporting the district uh, in a way of building their capacity in preparedness into such kind of responses by strengthening the district uh, disaster management committees that were trained some time back. And we are glad that they were able to take on this, first of all, quicker assessments, the rapid assessments with many other partners trying to respond for this. These floods forced me to close the town prematurely. These floods have destroyed the structures. The latrines are now full of water. And even some other important documents, like some of the files, people's books, the desk seat was destroyed. Parents or the community members were displaced. The environment reduced seriously. I'm using a case. I started on my summer. I started on that cut and cut exam to have color maze. To our war, I'm a good gazimba. Can't sing on a basset and batuan brown and matto. Quat to a sang of a taron to our own to juven ways on to an unclassum to Kafuk. It was juven ways on. When wind and storms blow, all this water floods into these camps. Aside the young people, I have to the the Intindo-se we need the world to come to our rescue because the government is trying its best, but they don't have money for contingency to cover these things. Has partners and UNICEF is coordinating together with the Office of OPM to see how we can respond quickly to immediate needs of these people. We are already supplying the aqua tubs to make sure that they have clean water, at least for them to have portable water. And then immediately we are also supporting them uh, to working together with World Vision to have uh, psychosocial support to the community social workers to support these families that have been displaced. From a UNICEF point of view, together with the partners looking at how we can ensure that children have a continuity in learning by provision of um, uh, tents for them uh, because they may not be able to go back to their own elder schools.